Hi, I'm B-Boy Bill, and this is the Lane's Hive build. I first heard about the Lane's Hive in an article written by Dr. Leo Sharaskin in the Bee Culture magazine. Dr. Leo has an awesome website with a ton of plans, tons of free plans, which I based this design off of. As I did some research into this, I decided I would do mine a little bit differently. Based on Dr. Leo's designs, and you can see in the link below, it's pretty similar with a couple modifications. One, I went with a 19 frame. His plans call for 14 frames. I wanted a couple extra frames in there so I could do a couple different things. One of the things I wanted to do is be able to overwinter two separate colonies in here, and I wanted to give each side enough room for that. The other, the other thing is my ventilation holes are a little bit different as well. You can also find links to the tools I used in the description below. And if you thought this video was good and you'd like to see more, click the subscribe button. It'll help out a lot. I've got all the parts laid out here we need for our lay-ins hive. The first thing we want to do is start by cross-cutting our 2x10s. We're going to need two different sizes to make the pieces, but we're going to need four unique parts. These four 2x10s are going to be 29 by 11 sixteenths, and these four over here are going to be 16 by 11 sixteenths. So we'll go ahead and cross cut these and we'll come back and show you the next step. The next thing you want to do is go over to your table saw and rip all these down to nine and one eighth inches thick. That's the size of this whole piece. The next step after you rip them all down to nine and an eighth inch thick wide is to go ahead and make the tongue. The tongue is going to be one half by one half and you can put it right in the center of your two by ten there. For your tongue, we're going to do two of the longer boards and two of the shorter boards all with the tongue on them. I'll get my table saw set up for that and we'll be right back. The next step, we need to make a groove in their 2x10s. This holds the tongue. These two pieces will go together like this. We're going to get our table saw set up for the tongue cut. And we're going to go ahead and make a tongue cut in two of our long boards and the other two short boards.
Once we have all our tongues and all our grooves made, then we're going to go ahead and make some rabbits. You can see that this bottom board has a rabbit cut out of it. To do this, you can use a router, you can use a table saw and a chisel. I've tried both. I think the router works best. So go ahead and get your router set up. You'll probably have to make two passes unless you have a really thick bit to get this bottom groove on the, on the end boards. Once you've got the rabbits cut and your two end boards, go ahead and take the long board with the tongue on it and go ahead and make the rabbit right there. These together are going to hold your bottom board. The bottom board sits right in there. Okay, now you're done with the tongue pieces, you can set those aside, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at the groove pieces. Short board groove piece, done. You don't even need to mess with that one. What you do need to do is take the long groove pieces and cut out for your frame rest. All the frames in our lanes hive are going to sit right on this rest. That's it, we're done with the sides and the ends. Next thing we're gonna do is cut the bottom board. The bottom board is made out of one by eights. Basically what you wanna do is cross cut these to the right length. And go ahead and put a tongue and groove, just like you did on the sides, but for this one, we're only going to run it about a quarter inch thick. Once you get that together, they should fit nice together for your bottom board. The last step in the laying hive is to make the top pieces. So the top pieces are also made from 1x8s. You can see here, if you lay these out, just about the width of one of your 1x8s. 
which works perfect, is you can get two long pieces for the top, two short pieces for the top, and also your rests for the top. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and cross cut all the length your top pieces. These pieces here are going to be a product left over from cutting the top pieces. Once you get it together, it's going to sit on your hive just like that. This is the last piece to our lens hive. It's a quarter inch piece of Luan. I went ahead and used the rip cut and the table saw to make these. When we get these all together, we'll set it right on our hive. That's it. Now that you've got everything cut, let's go ahead and get this thing together. All right, we went ahead and drilled our holes into our two by 10 ends for the bottom. Again, this is the tongue side we're working with. And you're going to want to pre-drill six holes into there just to make your life a little easier. I'm using a 1 8 inch drill bit because I'm going to be putting these 3 inch long screws 
They're number nines in here. I also have some glue out. This is Type On 3. It's been working really good. I'm going to go ahead and get these glued up and screwed. I like to build these upside down. That way my next layer will be nice and flush. So I go ahead and put them, set them on the tongue. Get them nice and square. And I like to pre-drill the holes into here too. At least get one of your holes pre-drilled in here and then we'll go ahead and drill the other ones once we get it screwed together. We're going to go ahead and get our first screw in here. Once we get our first screw in, we're going to drill the next hole. That'll help keep it square for us. We'll go ahead and pre-drill our last tool. All right, it's basically going to be the same thing for the other sides. So I'll go ahead and get that done and we'll be right back and uh, talk about the next part. Bottom side's done. We're going to go ahead and dry fit our bottom here. What I'm looking for on this is to make sure my corners are either chiseled out or routed over enough to fit in and everything looks good. So we're going to go ahead and get these glued together and put into the box. If you notice, before I put the board on, I'm smearing this glue out nice and smooth over all these edges. This glue will be the key to keep our bottom board in. All right, last but not least, we're going to glue the tongue and groove of our bottom board together. When I put my bottom board in, I like to pick the best side to go out because the outside is what's going to get painted and the bees don't really care what their bottom board looks like on the inside. Go 
We'll fix this bottom board. Looks pretty good. Let me pop this out a little bit and see if I can't just adjust it a little bit more. It's about as even as we're going to get. All right, we've got a Porter cable staple gun loaded up with some one and a half inch staples. I'm going to go ahead and tack this bottom board down. I try to keep it at a slight angle as it's going in because I don't want to be putting staples down through that are going to be hitting my fingers. You probably do your staples every four inches or so. Try to wipe the big spots of glue off. All right, here's the bottom half of our lanes hive. I'm gonna go ahead and get the boards and we'll get the next part done. All right, the first thing we need to do with our bottom is get the glue on it. put a whole bunch on this top top piece you can smash it down it goes right down where you want it to make sure you get a lot on there more than you would ever use Take a piece of scrap, start smashing it down. Should fall right down to the sides and bottom for you. Pretty much know you got enough on if you're making a mess everywhere. All right, next thing we're going to do is take one of our end boards. The end ones don't matter which side's in, so pick the smoothest side to go out. And we'll take one of our long sides the long side you want to make sure you have the rabbit in we'll put it right on top of our other board there here's a critical step that I learned the hard way make sure that you put your long side on before you put the end on Another step, we're going to put our glue right down the side here. See that? That means you got enough. What I'm doing here is I'm lining up the edges. I'm going to give this one a head start here. OK. 
Tschüss. We're going to go ahead and pre-drill our holes here using that 1 8 inch drill bit again. So we'll go ahead and put one in the top. Once you have the top one in, I pre-drill the other two holes. I'll go ahead and get those screwed. One last thing I like to do before I go ahead and put the final board in is make sure the frames are going to fit in there and are not going to be too tight. That's it for our bottom. Now we'll go ahead and do the top. All right, I've got the pieces laid out for the top here. First thing we're going to do is build the frame. To do that, we got our stapler loaded up, one and a half inch staples again. And we're gonna just line it up on the top here. Just That's how the top's gonna go. So I'll go ahead and uh, get the frame built for the top. Pretty simple procedure we're gonna do here. A Little bit of glue on the ends. Smear it around a little bit. A little bit more glue. Okay. What I like to do is put the one end under there just to support it. We're going to flush up this end here. One and a half inch staples. I like to put in three. We'll do the same thing with the other end. And three of our staples in here. Now we have that done, I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side. We'll glue both of these at once. Put our side on. Three staples. This is the part where you make sure it's nice and square to this edge. So I'm going to twist it a little bit and put one in first. Push this end in. Now, lastly, we need to put the quarter inch Luan on top. This will square everything up nice for us. It's going to go just like this. We are going to change out our one and a half inch staples and switch it out to a five eighths inch staple. You can use three five eighths, three quarters. It's going to go through a quarter inch and the glue should hold it anyway. So we'll get our frame all glued up here. Okay, 
go ahead and lay a quarter inch luon on top of this. We'll put our first staple in. Staple in here. Break down the edge every four or five inches. I want to make sure this edge is nice and square. One of your edges should be perfectly square. And I'll make sure your frame is square. Start the opposite corner. Four or five inches. Put a few of those in. There it is, top to our lanes hive. Go ahead and wipe the rest of this glue off. All right, one last step to this lanes hive and the lid. We need to put the aluminum flashing on. I'm not going to put the aluminum flash in until I get it painted. So let me go ahead and get this painted and we'll be right back and we'll get the aluminum flashing on. 